A very popular argument in the field of numerical analysis is Cantor's diagonalization argument. Its purpose is to show that the set of real numbers is an uncountable set because if you assume you have a patterned list of every number in the infinite set, you can always find a number not in the set through the use of a simple trick. Simply draw a diagonal line that crosses through the pattern list of numbers, starting with the first digit of the first number and going on through the second digit of the second number, the third digit of the third number, and so on. If you change every digit on this line to some other digit and combine all the digits on the diagonal in their original order to form a number, that number will not be in the patterned list of infinite numbers because the first digit of the number won't match the corresponding digit of the first number, the second digit of the number won't match the corresponding digit of the second number, and so on. So there is no way you are able to devise a pattern to count every number in the real number set without missing something. Let's try a particular example of the diagonalization argument. Look at the set here. Point zero, point one, point two, and we'll just imply point three, point four, point five, point six, and so on until we get to point nine here to save some writing space. Point nine, point zero one, point one one, point two one, point three one, point four one, and we keep going until we get to point nine one. Point nine one, point zero two, point one two, point two two, and we keep going until we get to point seven nine. Point seven nine, point eight nine, point nine nine, point zero zero one, point one zero one, point two zero one, point three zero one, and so on. And although we may not recognize the order the numbers are going in, we'll just say they keep going on infinitely. Now in this situation, every number on the diagonal is a zero. So it's pretty easy to change every digit in the diagonal to another digit. You can change them all to one if you want. So by the diagonalization argument, all of the numbers in this set can't be counted. You'll never get to a number that's all ones in this manner. Never. This set is uncountable. But let's take another look at this set. If we look at it in a different way, like we're reflecting it off of a mirror, it looks like this. 0, 1, 2, and so on until 9. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. 19, 20, 21, 22, and so on. 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, and so on. Now I would assume that since the digits in the set were simply flipped around that it's still the same set. And if it's the same set, then we've already established that it's an uncountable set. But it still looks so familiar. In fact, it looks like the way I'd normally count. So when I think about it, even the way I normally count can be considered an uncountable set.